Hi again, Emma here with lovetotrain.ca. This is the second segment of Becoming Strongman. We'll be looking at some of the Strongman events, breaking them down and taking one component that can be improved on in the gym using standard equipment. My um, first and favorite so far is the log press. You see Tim here mastering a 240 log clean and press like it's a pool noodle. And me with 110 for three reps. Let's break down this movement. You start with a bent over row, deep squat, clean and push press. I found that at this weight, the push press to be the toughest part of the movement because I had I never had to power 110 pounds overhead. I chose the kettlebell clean and press to emulate this, starting here with a comfortable but heavy 35 pounds, and moving on from here to a more challenging weight with a push press, driving it from the bottom, working on transfer force and core stability. I'm working unilaterally to start because I noticed a difference in shoulder stability or strength on either side. I'll progress to double clean and press when the deficit decreases. Moving on to the Notorious Farmer Carry, Tim here with something heavier than I can count. The Farmer Carry works everything. It fires your grip strength, back and shoulders, core and legs, it builds muscle, burns body fat, increases strength and performance in major lifts, and it's just freaking cool. Um, the one thing to take care of is not to adopt a forward head posture. You want to keep a neutral spine. You can then put emphasis on load or distance. I chose load here, but with time I'll have to develop proper balance between both for a strongman event. I chose the deadlift for the week's training because it's a strongman event, but also has great carry over to other activities. Before lifting the heavy stuff, I'll do proper warm-up. I'll also hit some assistant movements like hammies, abdominal work on separate days. As I move forward in the weeks ahead, I'll vary my type of deadlift, but we'll continue working on max strength because I'll be able to perform more reps with a sub-max weight because it's a smaller percentage of my 1RM. Now that I'm working on max strength, I'm noticing that deadlifting is a very different movement and I'll have to fine tune my technique and develop proper breathing patterns. Um, when I hit my one, my uh, when I hit my 215, I take so long at the bottom to pressurize my stomach, uh, which I can't do because I'm compressing my diaphragm. I run out of gas. So plenty to look forward to in the weeks ahead.